쏟아지는 걸 이유 없이 쏟아지는 걸 아무도 모르죠 심장 속에 유리조가 폭풍이 몰아치는 걸 미친 사랑에 빠진 boys and girls with their rhythmic rhymes and hypnotic beats, the three musicians behind Epic High have found their place in South Korea's music scene. And for Stanford-educated frontman Tableau, co-lyricist Mithra Jin and DJ Two Cuts, it was no mean feat bringing hip-hop to a country saturated by the sugary sounds of pop. Now seven years on and seven albums later, the boys show no sign of stopping, despite setbacks from censors and the country's compulsory military service. This week on Talk Asia, we find out where it all started for Epic High. And we get an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the recording of their latest album. Tablo, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, yeah. Um, when you first started out, hip-hop in South Korea was barely a blip on the radar. Has it been a battle for you and Epic High to bring it to the mainstream? Well, I guess it could have been a battle if that was what I wanted or if that was what I intended. But for me, it was just a personal thing. You know, I, I loved hip-hop. Growing up, that was the music of my choice. It was the music that got me thinking a lot of the things that I think. I just did my own thing and somehow we got to the forefront of the music industry itself and we happened to be doing hip hop. And luckily, it helped out with other hip hop artists too because people who weren't interested in hip hop started you know, looking to that genre. So now hip hop is is huge. Just explain a bit about um, you know, what your music is. What's special about Epic High? I guess it's it's very honest music. I mean, um, it's. That's not a rare thing elsewhere, but um, a lot of the times in, in, in the industry that I'm in, uh, within the country that I'm in, it's very difficult for an artist to be personal or um, very open about various issues. And I think music is supposed to do that. Music is supposed to open your heart and let everything out and you're supposed to share everything you can. People here obviously love their K-pop, um, you know, sort of really sugary, fluffy, boy meets girl type of stuff. Do you just hate it? I don't hate it. I actually enjoy sometimes listening to it, but like on a personal level, I, I don't know how to do that. You know, that, that's not how I live my life. Like I'm not, I can't, Maybe to my wife or to, you know, to my friends maybe, I can be a nice person, but, but I'm not really, I'm not a bubblegum kind of guy. It was your third album that, um, that really took off here in Korea and it featured huge hits like Fly and Paris as well. Um, take me back to that time when Epic High suddenly saw success. It's a while. <laughs> but, but, um, the, my first album just, just didn't Do happen. Mm. Yeah, it just didn't happen. How come? Um, I guess it was the first time that, you know, an entire hip-hop kind of album came to the mainstream and people weren't, like, ready to accept it yet. And some of the things that we were talking about in our songs, like, we had no love songs. All the songs were about the process you go through from life to death. And um, the kids weren't, you know, they weren't expecting that. And then the second album I released uh, was called High Society. And it was about every aspect of, of society and the people who make up society. 
and um, all the people that we're neglecting. And again, you know, we got, we got into trouble with the censors and people were like, Who, what are these guys and why, why are they making this kind of music? And again, it didn't pop off. And then for some odd reason, um, before the third album, I got a chance to be on a sitcom and then uh, I had my own radio show. And, and right after that, my third album came out. And we were talking about the same things. You know, we were doing the same kind of music. But it blew up. What is it that the censors particularly don't like? Sometimes I think maybe they just don't like me. <laughs> no, How serious. is that possible? I'm serious because I, I look at the reasons why my songs are censored. And, and I, I compare it to other people. The other groups don't get censored for the same thing. Some of the songs I can understand why it's censored. I mean, I, I'm talking about political things and um, just social ills that, that you know, might raise some eyebrows. So that, I'm okay with that. But a lot of the times it's, it's kind of nonsense. Has it affected um, you being able to get Epic High's music out there? No, actually, um, the most censored album was the fourth album. Um, that was the album with Fan and Love, Love, Love. But that album actually did commercially the best out of all my albums. I threw them Love, 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 and everyone was focused on that. They didn't know that you know, the rest of the album was <laughs> talking about things that I, I'm not supposed to be talking about, supposedly. Ingenious. Yeah, but it worked out because when it got censored, all the kids were like, why is this getting censored? What's on this album? And they started listening more to the lyrics. Yeah, isn't that kind of the best PR that the government could possibly give you? Yeah, I'm actually very grateful. <laughs> I really am. They, um, they kind of make me special. You know, it, to me, it's just I'm, I'm writing on a piece of paper, these lyrics, you know. It's just natural to me. It's just the way I talk, the way I think. I write it, I record it, I put it out. And um, when the government censors me, or when they make, put a comment on it, uh, it, it only makes me more special. So I am very grateful. Welcome, welcome. This is the Epic High Studio. Over here we have the studio dog. Everybody run, run, run away. The booth. This is a uh, Mithra Jin. The god of light and truth. This is one third of Epic High. He makes up two thirds with me. The other one third is uh, in the army right now, serving in the army. We're actually working on a new album right now, so we want you to be the first to check out how we do this whole thing. I think we're the only ones.